Triple, so 100 fly, 50 breast, 50 back. Um, this morning, the plan coming into it was swim all three of them, see how it goes. I planned on scratching the 50 breaststroke for finals, but after breaking the US Open record this morning, I was like, probably a bad idea to do that. Um, I feel bad doing that, and so we decided going into it, we'd do all three. Um, we spoke with other coaches, and we even spoke to Brendan Hansen. We were like, trying to figure out, like, what do we do? Like, what's the smartest plan? Um, and ultimately, I realized this is what I train for. I've done dirty triples before, and so like I, I'm capable of it. And so going into the finals, obviously I knew Hunter Fly was the most important with trying to get a spot in the Pan Pack team, and then obviously stealing as many spots as I can for Worlds in 2019, which was really exciting in the breaststroke, um, coming off of the best time in the fly. So it was a great night. I'm really happy with it. I think the time was like 20 minutes, 24 minutes between each one. So it was a little more than like what I had at the Derby shootout. Um, but it was, it was a good night of racing, good night of training. And the next two days are going to feel very easy compared to this. <laughs> So what we did um, just between each race was I'd come back well, we'd awards and then um, do a quick swim just to feel the pace and then my mom would shake me up so she's like my massage therapist um, which helped a lot because this morning I didn't really do a lot of that it was more just kind of go through the, the um, events um, but I don't know a lot of it was just a more focused effort and just making sure I was ready for each race and obviously they hurt a little bit towards the end especially in the backstroke because I feel like it was very leg driven, at least in the 50. Um, but no, I was very happy with the evening. So Brennan was thinking, well, so it was actually really huge. He paid a massive compliment to me was, this was the best my breaststroke has ever looked. And he really was really, really impressed with my 26.8. Um, and so he was thinking, focus on swimming the 100 tomorrow, because you win the 100, you get that 50 spot. Um, and that was a great idea. And I, we really um, made it hard, because everyone else was saying, do all three of them. And then Brennan was like, no, maybe not. And we're like, oh, no, like way to make a decision harder. Um, but no, it was, it was good, and I think there was a lot of two that goes into like so. His idea was that um, breaststroke is so technical, and there's a lot of things that can change emotionally that affects the stroke. And I feel like um, he understood also being a breaststroker, and as good as he is, is like the morning I swam really free, knowing I'm not, I'm probably not going to swim in finals. So I swam really well. The stroke was just smooth, no pressure whatsoever. Um, and the thought was maybe coming into finals, I'd try and race it hard and get the American record, and then ultimately swim slower. Um, which made a lot of sense to us and that was something we wanted to think about and but as an athlete I know like what I'm capable of and and what I had to do to kind of combat that and uh, I think we did a great job Do you ask him for help on other No, he was just walking just... by I was so like we we're um, in the warm down pool and I was just kind of floating on the side talking to my mom and dad and I saw Brendan walking by while we were discussing I was like Brendan what do you, what do you think we should do and so he I mean we've been friends just like on and off here and there and so we see his swimming and we're like see what he has to say